right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our Flash webinar on Instagram publishing. The goal of Flash webinars is to offer you a quick but in-depth presentation on one specific Lindley feature. Today, we'll be discussing Instagram for the different types of accounts we now support. I'm Mike from the Lindley team, and I'll be the host of today's webinar. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to use the Q&A section of the webinar where my colleagues Amanda and Pete will be happy to answer any questions you may have. So let's jump into it. First, let's discuss the different types of Instagram accounts available. There are three different types of accounts, business accounts, creator accounts, and personal accounts. Business and creator accounts go under the professional accounts umbrella. Depending on what account type you have, you'll have access to different features available within the Instagram app. For example, business accounts are ideal for brands, organizations, and service providers as they allow you to have shoppable posts and also allow automatically publishing through third-party platforms. Creator accounts are great for influencers and allow paid partnership tools with business accounts. Personal accounts are generally for personal use and can be set to private. Now. What does this mean when you're trying to connect different account types to Loomly? Well, depending on what type of account you have and how you connect it to Loomly, you'll have different features available. Professional accounts connected through a Facebook page will have access to features such as interactions, analytics, or grid previews. However, these features are not available for personal accounts or professional accounts that are not connected through a Facebook page. So how do you connect an Instagram account? To connect your Instagram account, you'll need to go to the social accounts tab of your calendar setting, where you'll either be prompted to connect your Instagram account through the associated Facebook page for professional accounts, which will allow you to access interactions, analytics, and grid previews, or with the username for personal accounts and professional accounts that are not associated with any Facebook page. So from here, we would go and click connect. And from here, we would connect through our Facebook page. However, if you don't have a page, you would click this link right here. Now, here's an example of an Instagram account that is connected successfully through a Facebook page. And here's one that is appearing as it's connected through a personal account or just through a username. Please note direct publishing is only offered for business accounts that are connected through a Facebook page. For creator accounts, personal accounts, or business accounts without a Facebook page, it's only possible to publish your post manually with the help of reminders. Now, now that you have your Instagram account connected, let's discuss direct publishing for Instagram business accounts. With our direct publishing solution, you can now have your single image, multiple image, mixed media, as in multiple images and videos, and single video posts, as well as Instagram Reels directly published to Instagram if you have your Instagram business account connected through a Facebook page. All you need to do now is follow a few steps, create the post, then set the scheduled date and let us take care of the rest. There are some restrictions, however. Here's an example. For single image posts, the image must be within a four to five to a 1.91 to one ratio. So for example, if your image falls outside the recommended aspect ratio range, you'll see an orange warning. So you can edit your image in Loomly Studio so that it's transformed to a crop ratio that is supported for Instagram direct publishing. So we see this banner here, simply we'll scroll down, access Loomly Studio by clicking crop and edit image. And then we can just select a square ratio for this post, click save. We can confirm that the banner is gone and now we're good to go. Also, any single image post greater than eight megabytes, single video posts outside the aspect ratio range, reels less than five or greater than 60 seconds, or any post that's less than three or greater than 60 seconds will need to be manually published <clears throat> with the help of reminders. Finally, stories will always need to be manually published due to limitations placed on Instagram's API. Please feel free to take a look at our FAQ articles for more details. Some users also prefer to manually publish their posts, and that also is an option. You simply need to select Publish Manually toggle right here in the fine tuning panel for Instagram. 
So you have the manuals published, which will need to be published with reminders and push notifications. Now let's review additional features that are available for Instagram business accounts that are connected through a Facebook page. You can see a grid preview, tag a location, tag users, select a video cover, and schedule a first comment for post in step four, the fine tuning step in Post Builder. We allow you to view your Instagram grid preview by clicking this toggle button, and also in post view to help you visualize your post with the most recent content for Instagram. For users, you can tag up to nine users on a single image post, but please be sure not to list any handles that are private. So tagging a user, we can go down here, click tag users, add, select input, have to make sure that we know the username and we'll tag Lindley Social. Then when we're ready, just click done. Here's a tip. If you like to tag locations and users for posts that need to be manually published, you can leave a note in the comment section and post view and pin it. This way you can use this as a reminder for you and your team about the users and locations you wanted to tag when you publish through the mobile app. You can also at mention users in the copy of your text by typing the at sign and the handle of the account you'd like to mention for your posts. One other feature that we have is the Instagram for comment feature. This feature works best for single photo and single video posts that are automatically published, but it will also work for manually published posts as well. If you do need to manually publish a post, we will include the first comment copy in your push notification so you can manually publish the first comment after publishing your post. Next up, you can also select a cover image for your video posts that are directly published to Instagram. So from here, we have a video post. Scroll down, specify cover photo, click specify cover image, and we can select the frame that we would like to use for our cover photo. Now that we've reviewed the Instagram features we have available, I wanted to briefly go over the steps on how to manually publish a post using reminders. If you have the mobile app downloaded to your Android or iOS device and you're assigned to the post when it's time to publish, you'll receive a push notification reminder letting you know that it's time to post. When it's time to publish to Instagram, Loomly sends you a push notification letting you access your post in Loomly's mobile app. It automatically saves the media files and copies of your posts your clipboard and opens it with Instagram. So then you only need to paste the caption and publish your post. As briefly mentioned earlier, we also support Instagram stories. Stories will need to be manually published with the help of reminders since directly publishing story goes against Instagram's guidelines. The process to create and publish a story in Loomly is quite simple. You'll need to create an image or single video story in the story format and then add any text directly to the media file. So we'll go here. You can see that we have our file right here. We're in step four and we'll need to select stories. And now we have a story post. Then once it's a scheduled time, we'll send a push notification to manually publish the story. From there, you'll need to click story, then publish the story as you normally would publish a story in Instagram. Please note that it is not currently possible to publish an Instagram post and story at the same time. Next up, let's look at Instagram analytics. You can measure your success with basic and advanced analytics for business and creator accounts connected through a Facebook page. Loomly offers at count level statistics, such as your total number of page likes on and total followers on Instagram. Post metrics, including likes, comments, reach, impressions, and engagement rate. You can also filter your dates and period comparison, as well as filter post metrics by post label. We also offer story metrics for each Instagram story that has at least five unique viewers. This includes exit, impression, reach, replies, and taps forward and backward on the story. Please note that story analytics cannot be backfilled, shared stories will not be displayed, and we recommend waiting until the next day to see stories published from the day prior. We also allow you to view mentions, reply to comments for Instagram creator and business accounts. To 
If you have a business or creator account connected through a Facebook page, you can view mentions and reply to comments. For business accounts, you can also view and reply to direct messages. That sums up everything for Instagram publishing. Thank you again for joining us today. We really hope that you enjoyed this Slack webinar. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to review our FAQ section for more information. If you feel like your question has not been answered on our FAQ, please feel free to contact our team either through our chat or over email at contact at Thank you.